Uh, welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into one of the most pivotal moments in history, Napoleon's abdication, a moment that sent shockwaves across Europe and beyond, abruptly ending the reign of a man who had reshaped the very fabric of power on the continent. From the ashes of revolution, a young Napoleon Bonaparte rose, a figure of unparalleled ambition and military genius. His story, a tapestry woven with threads of triumph and tragedy, offers a glimpse into a world on the brink of change where empires clashed and the fate of nations hung in the balance. Stay tuned as we explore the rise and fall of one of history's most fascinating figures. Join us as we journey back in time to uncover the events that led to Napoleon's abdication, a turning point in history that continues to shape our world today. Born on the rugged island of Corsica in 1769, Napoleon Bonaparte entered a world teetering on the precipice of revolution. The French monarchy, steeped in tradition and increasingly out of touch with the needs of its people, was ripe for upheaval. It was amidst this backdrop of social and political turmoil that Napoleon's own story began to unfold. A gifted student with a particular aptitude for mathematics and military strategy, he embarked on a military career that would forever alter the course of history. Rising through the ranks with astonishing speed, Napoleon's tactical brilliance and unwavering ambition quickly set him apart. He possessed an uncanny ability to analyse the battlefield, to anticipate his enemy's moves, and to strike with decisive force. His victories in Italy against the Austrians, a series of daring campaigns that showcased his military genius, propelled him to the forefront of French consciousness. He became a national hero. His name whispered in awe and admiration. But Napoleon's ambitions extended far beyond the battlefield. He understood the power of image, the importance of cultivating a persona that would captivate the hearts and minds of the French people. And so he carefully crafted his own legend, presenting himself as the embodiment of the revolution's ideals, liberty, equality and fraternity. He spoke directly to the people, promising them glory, stability and a return to French grandeur. In 1799, with France still reeling from the aftershocks of the revolution, Napoleon seized his opportunity. Staging a coup d'etat, he dissolved the Directory, the ruling government at the time, and established himself as first consul. Five years later, in a move that cemented his place in the annals of history, Napoleon crowned himself Emperor of the French. The coronation, a lavish ceremony held at the Cathedral of Notre Dame, marked the culmination of his meteoric rise to power. Gone was the young general from Corsica. In his place stood Napoleon I, Emperor of the French, ready to leave his indelible mark on the world. With France firmly under his control, Napoleon turned his attention to the wider European stage. Driven by an insatiable thirst for power and a belief in his own destiny, he embarked on a series of military campaigns that would redraw the map of Europe. From the sun-drenched battlefields of Spain to the frozen wastelands of Russia, Napoleon's armies marched, carrying with them the ideals of the French Revolution and the ambitions of their emperor. The Napoleonic Wars, a series of conflicts that engulfed Europe for over a decade, had begun. Napoleon's military genius was on full display during this period, he employed innovative tactics such as the use of mobile artillery and the formation of highly trained and motivated corps that revolutionized warfare. His victories were swift and decisive. At Austerlitz, he crushed the combined forces of Austria and Russia, cementing his reputation as the greatest military commander of his age. At Jena and Auerstedt, he routed the Prussian army, effectively ending Prussia's status as a major European power. With each victory, Napoleon's empire expanded. He installed his relatives and close allies on the thrones of conquered nations, creating a network of client states that stretched from the Iberian Peninsula to the borders of Russia. At the height of his power, Napoleon's empire encompassed much of continental Europe. He had humbled ancient dynasties, redrawn national boundaries and imposed his will on millions. Yet within this empire, the seeds of Napoleon's downfall were already being sown. The constant warfare had taken its toll on France, draining its resources and manpower. Moreover, Napoleon's ambition and unyielding pursuit of power had created a coalition of enemies determined to see his downfall. Great Britain, Austria, Prussia and Russia, 
united in their opposition to French hegemony, formed the Sixth Coalition. Chapter 3. The Tide Turns the Road to Abdication The year 1812 marked a turning point in Napoleon's fortunes. Driven by an insatiable desire to crush his enemies and fueled by a belief in his own invincibility, he embarked on a fateful campaign against Russia. Leading an army of over 600,000 men, Napoleon crossed the Nyman River, venturing deep into the vast expanse of Russia. The invasion, a gamble of epic proportions, would prove to be his undoing. The Russians, employing a scorched-earth policy, retreated before the advancing French, leaving behind a desolate landscape devoid of food and supplies. Napoleon's army, already stretched thin, began to suffer from hunger, disease and the unforgiving Russian winter. The Battle of Borodino, a bloody and indecisive clash fought near Moscow, highlighted the futility of Napoleon's campaign. Although technically a French victory, it came at a staggering cost and did little to alter the course of the war. Napoleon entered Moscow only to find the city largely deserted and engulfed in flames. The Russians had set fire to their own capital, denying Napoleon the decisive victory he so desperately craved. Faced with the prospect of spending the winter in a burned-out city thousands of miles from home, Napoleon made the fateful decision to retreat. The retreat from Moscow, a harrowing ordeal that tested the limits of human endurance, decimated the French army. Harassed by Cossacks, ravaged by disease and starving from lack of food, Napoleon's once mighty army was reduced to a shadow of its former self. Of the over 600,000 men who had crossed into Russia, only a fraction would ever see France again. The disastrous Russian campaign marked the beginning of the end for Napoleon. His aura of invincibility shattered, his enemies sensed weakness and moved to exploit it. Chapter 4. The Abdication, a Moment Etched in Time News of the devastating Russian campaign reverberated across Europe, weakening Napoleon's grip on power. The Sixth Coalition launched offensives against the weakened French forces. In 1813, Napoleon suffered a major defeat at the Battle of Leipzig, a decisive victory for the Allied forces. Napoleon's forces were in full retreat. The tide had turned. By early 1814, the Allied armies were closing in on Paris. On March 31, 1814, Paris fell to the Allied forces. Napoleon, facing pressure from his own marshals, was forced to confront the inevitable. At Fontainebleau, Napoleon signed the instrument of abdication. The reign of Napoleon Bonaparte had come to an end. Napoleon's abdication marked the beginning of a new chapter in European history. Chapter 5, Legacy of an Emperor, Napoleon's Enduring Impact Following his abdication, Napoleon was exiled to the island of Elba, off the coast of Italy. Stripped of power, he lived in relative obscurity, yet his ambition remained undimmed. The news of Napoleon's abdication sent shockwaves throughout Europe. Some rejoiced, while others mourned the loss of a leader who brought glory to France. The Congress of Vienna sought to restore order by redrawing the map of Europe. However, Napoleon's exile was short-lived. In 1815, he escaped from Elba and returned to France, rallying his supporters. The Battle of Waterloo marked his final defeat. Napoleon was exiled again, this time to St. Helena in the South Atlantic. Napoleon's legacy remains a subject of debate to this day. He left an indelible mark on the political, military and social landscape of Europe and the world. Outro, a legacy forged in triumph and tragedy. Napoleon's story is a powerful reminder that even the most powerful empires can crumble, that even the most ambitious dreams can turn to dust. His rise and fall serve as a cautionary tale about the intoxicating allure of power and the perils of unchecked ambition. Yet Napoleon's legacy extends far beyond the battlefields and palaces of 19th century Europe. He was a product of his time, a man shaped by the tumultuous events of the French Revolution and the Enlightenment. His ideas about nationalism, meritocracy and the importance of education continue to resonate today, reminding us of the enduring power of ideas and the importance of understanding the past in order to navigate the present. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating historical stories. See you next time.